Hello, Internet. It is Dom from Frog and Ice Productions. And Kenny from Frog and Ice Productions. And today we're going to introduce you with a new show. It's top whatever. It's basically the top whatever number we choose of whatever topic we choose. This week it is? It is our top 11 video game villains. Number 11. Coming in at our number 11 spot, it is Queen Mira. She is shown in Gears of War 3 as the queen of the Locust Horde. And it's really, her story is very unknown, you know, how she became the leader. Her cool little side story is that she killed Elaine Phoenix before she was going to tell Sira, which is the planet, about the Locust. And it's still a little confusing why she did it. But, Queen Mira, number 11. Number 10. Our number 10 today is 343 Guilty Spark. He was first introduced in Halo 1 and is later shown in Halo 2 and Halo 3. He lived on Installation 04 for 101,217 local years. That's a lot. Isn't that a lot? That's quite a, a lot. bit. It's quite a bit. Unfortunately, he killed my favorite character. He killed Sergeant Johnson. Sergeant Johnson. On the Ark in Halo 3. And believe it or not, he was created by a human. I find that very odd, but he is number 10. Number 9. 9. nine. Shut up. Coming in at number 9 on this list is Gravemind from the Halo series. He first appeared in the second Halo midway through the campaign and seemed to be friendly until about midway through the third Halo where he turned evil and became a villain to protect his own species because the Master Chief was trying to kill him. Similar to the Borg Queen in Star Trek, he's the leader of a collective and he's not necessarily, just like the others below, are evil because they are either following orders or just trying to protect the group. But, still, he's number 9 on our list. Number 8! What? Number 8? <laughs> what, what number are we on? Coming in at the Call of Duty series... <sighs> Shut up, Kenny. You agreed to this list. So you gotta I don't go wanna. With... You don't wanna? I don't wanna. Okay. Well, I'm going anyway. Coming in at number 8 is Vladimir Makarov. Now, Makarov is known for being the secondary antagonist for Modern Warfare 2. Which, if you don't know what an antagonist is, that is your problem. Don't buy Call of Duty 2. Just buy a dictionary shut instead. Up, shut buy up. a dictionary <laughs> shut to up. help your education. We're in the middle of the list, and you're going on a dictionary event. Sorry. Okay, let me finish. Dictionaries. Second antagonist in Modern Warfare 2. He's also the main antagonist in Modern Warfare 3. Very you need to work on your diction if you don't know what Stop. it means. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost done here. Alright. He's known as his evil role for causing the World War 3, and mainly between Russia and the US, which Wolverines. Mother Russia! If you don't know what Wolverines is, then it's also your problem. That's not diction, though. Number oh, seven! Shit. Number seven today is the infamous Harbinger. Harbinger is the oldest Reaper in the Reaper Armada and don't was fear the Reaper. responsible for the attack on Earth in the third game. Okay, he killed, essentially, killed Commander Shepard in the second game and again in the third game, which is very depressing. Assuming direct control, he was also in charge of the Human Reaper in Mass Effect 2. He came up with the idea of it. What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? That hurt my neck. Because he's one evil son of a bitch. He's a Reaper. Of course he's a he's an evil son of a bitch. He's I terrible. I don't think I don't think his mother was a female dog. Number, Number six. six. Number six is the Sarge from the Doom series. Doom. He's the former sergeant. Doom, doom, doom. Human Sergeant, might I say, from the classic Doom series. Uh, his name is Sergeant Kelly in the Do in Doom Three, and he is the final one of the final bosses. And the Rock. Yes, he is also the villain, and he's portray he's played as the Rock uh, in the Doom movie, and he's just called Sarge. But no, first game he wasn't a villain; he was on your side. Actually, you played as him. But still, number six. Of course. Number, number five. five. Coming in at number five on our list is King Bowser Koopa, also known as Bowser. He's most iconic villain in the Mario series, and he's been around since 1985. Jesus, it's longer than I've been around, obviously. <laughs> but he's pretty much he pretty much has it out for Mario because he keeps on stealing his girlfriend. I guess Peach is his girlfriend. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Mario's secretly the bad guy. Maybe he belongs at number five. Number, number four. Dobbs an idiot. Whoa. Coming in at number four is a very famous and old supervillain, the Joker from the Batman series. He's been around since 1940, not in video games, but in comics. He came around in the Batman games and is most noticed in the Batman games in the Arkham series games. His most famous portrayals are by Jack Nicholson, Mark Hamill, who's also Luke Skywalker, and Heath Ledger. Although he's really famous and pretty old, 
He didn't kill that many important characters and do that much in gaming, so that's why he's number four. Number three. Filling the third spot this week is GLaDOS from the Portal series. Now, she may not seem that bad of a character. She's really messed up. First off, she promises Kagan doesn't give it. Second off, she floods places with neurotoxin. I mean, come on, at least she could blow it up. More humane. She also is famous for insulting Shell in the second game because she's a potato. Sorry, spoiler alert. Three. Number two. Dom's an idiot. Again. Number two on our list is a villain we like to call Gilgamesh. He started off as a minor villain in the Final Fantasy series, but today has become a very influential part of Japanese gaming. He made a number of appearances in the remakes and later titles of the Final Fantasy game. His first appearance was in Final Fantasy V, which is kind of, you know, but he's been expanded out and has been in a number of summer games. In every appearance, he has a little story to tell, and he's always looking for a sword called the Excalibur. Which is weird, because every time I look over my inventory, I have the Excalibur in my inventory. I just find out... I, I guess he's hunting me. I don't understand. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. But um, his very, very cool and important um, feature about Gilgamesh is he's the only character that I know that flashbacks to other games. Because every time you fight him in the games, he has weapons from previous titles, which is very cool. And it just gives you a little flashback to the past. So, that's why we gave Gilgamesh a number two in our spot. Number, number one! one! Oh, yes! Yeah! Alright, stop. Coming in at number one is the simplest, but most sinister and evil thing in any video game. I'm so proud of this one. He only is three lines of code because I've programmed one of him. So he is the one. AI in the video game Pong. He's the so first good. character ever. He's so dangerous. He's so dangerous, he's impossible to beat. It's well, at least the one I coded. There was three lines of code. That's it. Three lines of Java code. You know how easy that yeah, that is? That's, you know how simple that is? That, that, that might sound like a lot to you, but it's pretty simple. It's easier than writing three sentences. For Gilgamesh, it's probably like 500 yeah. <laughs> lines of code. Any other villain ever has nothing on him. That is why he deserves the number one spot. Well, maybe it's a she, but either way, number one Ever. All time. I don't care what anybody has to say. We'll probably have a villain, too. <laughs> Did I ruin it? <laughs> you ruined my every moment. I'm sorry, but he, right now, he's, 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 he's dangerous. He, he's, he's dangerous. He's wanted. Don't mess with him. Well, we want to thank you for watching our new show. Come back to us next Wednesday where we'll have a new new uh, top 10, 20, 30, 90. Top whatever. Top whatever. Hey! Now, of course, you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash mm -hmm. following us. So or you can stalk us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash frog and ice for more videos, updates on our videos, and other things like that. Toasty!